What's up, y'all? We are finally back for another season of Down and Dirty with Devereaux. And, you know, I'm thinking I'm going to be here to stay for a while. So uh, we can skip the pleasantries. Y'all already know what's up. We can get right to it. So I had another topic planned for today, but Natalia Chanwa asked me to cover this Twitter thread. And since I like her some of the time, I decided I'm going to do it. So here's the Twitter thread I'm talking about. Okay, so here's the thing. Those girls have branded the hell out of themselves, okay? They used to come to the Notre Dame uh, women's basketball camp when I was in school. So they were probably early high school. Um, and I have not seen them play since then. No idea, I have no idea if they're high level players, if they, they're good enough to play at the professional level. But what I do know is that usually when there's a women's basketball conversation outside of like the direct women's basketball community, they're in it. If there's an event and there needs to be somebody there representing women's basketball, it's usually them. I ain't mad at that, but I do understand the frustration. So here you are, you have all these college players that are playing at this high level that you know for a fact are going to get drafted to the WNBA and you don't wanna cover them. And then at the same time, you have all these WNBA players that are out here just doing their thing, like owning different businesses, running different businesses, um, playing overseas, sacrificing time with their family, milestone birthdays of their parents, missing the births of their nieces and nephews, good friends, wedding, missing all of that, making all these sacrifices for the grind for basketball. And you don't wanna cover them. <laughs> Like, it's hella disrespectful, I get it. But if we're gonna keep it all the way real, we know why they're the one getting these covers and these articles and getting all this coverage. We get it, they're very pretty. But I think the other issue is that a lot of people equate them with this new culture of women that market themselves as the sexy hooper. And I'm not talking about the twins. I'm talking about women who the last time they played basketball was with a little tykes hoop. I'm talking about women that dribble with two hands. But they did a photo shoot and they had a bikini on and a basketball and the caption was something like, don't get it twisted, I can hoop. Can you though? But like, these are the women that are getting more coverage than actual WNBA players. It's, it's mind blowing. Come on, son. But if you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. So for the past year, I've been working extremely hard on starting my own production company. My goal is by the end of the year uh, to launch my website and my YouTube channel that will do a lot of creative content on the WNBA, all the things that we've been missing that the fans have been wanting to see. But Natalie is a real one for that thread because I think a big part of getting the content and the coverage we want is keeping our foot on their throats. So we have to continually talk about the WNBA and women's basketball and what we want to see and what we want written and eventually they'll have to produce it. So there are brighter days ahead, people. So be positive. Imagination. I'm gonna keep you guys updated on what I'm doing. Down and Dirty, I wanna do a lot more coverage of what it's like starting my company. And uh, I will be shooting weekly now. So I will see you guys next week on another episode of Down and Dirty with Deborah.